Hello. So it's definitely been a while. Um, I wanted to make a video back around my birthday and then things happened. So uh, this is my official return to mediocre content and I'm just gonna kind of talk about where I've been. So I guess I'll just start off by like saying thank you to everyone who for whatever reason have stayed subscribed to me um thank you i really appreciate it um everyone that has been watching my videos thank you i really appreciate it everyone that's just left really nice comments and stuff um you know again i really appreciate it so i know i haven't been posting in a very long time um, and even then it wasn't that much, but I'm hoping to be making more videos soon. I'm in a much better headspace, um, in just like a better place overall in my life, I think. And yeah, I'm, I have ideas that I think would be fun, um, because they're the kind of videos that I want to watch. <laughs> and so... Hopefully, you know, if I get around to making them, if I end up dropping off the face of the earth again, I'm going to be eating these words right now, but you know, it it'll be nice. So yeah, I guess we'll just start with like the beginning of the year. I got a boyfriend, so that was kind of cool. <laughs> um, we're still together, but he's really nice. I like him good. Oh, I also transferred schools. So I, for anyone that doesn't know, most people, uh, I'm in college. Uh, I've been in college for the last three years. Also something that happened was that I turned 21, so huzzah. But I've been in college for the last three years and I've been trying to transfer and I finally managed to transfer this year which is really exciting. I transferred all the way up north in Northern California. I live in Southern California and uh, that's where I'm currently at right now and I will get into why I'm not at school right now. So basically my whole plan was that uh, before I left to go to school because it's like 10 hours away and I I'm broke and I have no car and I my only option was to live on campus and to move all that way and uh, I did that and my plan was like oh I'm going to film a video and then I'll be like my comeback to nothing uh, before I leave and then that just didn't happen so I was like okay well w so I was gonna film the video and then post it on my birthday uh, as kind of like a one year anniversary of being on YouTube and stuff. And then that just didn't happen because uh, my birthday is August 9th and my move-in date was August 16th. So I didn't have a lot of time to be doing things like that. So then I just didn't do it. And then I was like, oh, well, I'll just do it when I'm at school. And then I just didn't do it. And then I, I told myself in September, because I came home in September, I was like, oh, I'll do it when I get home. Two months later, and I'm finally now doing it. Uh, you're welcome. Basically, when I got there, um, I did not realize that COVID was so bad up north, um, and the school made it seem like they were doing a lot more than they actually ended up doing. Um, and I, I don't want to dive into too many details, but basically, you know, I was under the impression that everyone was going to be required to be vaccinated. And, uh, technically, you kind of were, except you didn't have to verify that you were vaccinated until September 30th. The semester started August 18th. 
So a whole like almost a month and a half after the semester started, that's when you actually had to verify whether or not you were vaccinated after you had already been in classes and been on campus and been surrounded by a lot of people. So that already was kind of questionable. And uh, they didn't tell us that before going in. They just said, it's required. So I thought, okay, so before you actually make it onto campus, or at least within the first week of being on campus, you had to be vaccinated. Wasn't the case. Some time just goes on and cases are racking up like crazy on campus. And I'm like, hmm, who, who, who would have saw that coming? Definitely not me. Uh, then lo and behold, my roommates get COVID. And I'm like, mm, cool. Also what's cool is that they didn't tell me until a week after they had already been in quarantine. The school knew they had COVID and they also didn't tell me and they were supposed to be doing contact tracing. So clearly weren't doing that either. And I'm not gonna get into like the, the debate about whether or not, like, anything, just do your part, get vaccinated, wear a fucking mask, I don't care. The, you know, my roommates, at least two of them, as far as I know, weren't vaccinated and got it and then just didn't say anything until one of my other roommates, who didn't get it, was like, oh yeah, they've been gone because they had COVID, so like, you should probably, uh, get tested. A whole week after they had already been gone. So I was, needless to say, pretty mad about that. And the worst part was that two of my roommates that were in quarantine were only in quarantine because the school moved them there. So the school notified them that someone in our housing had COVID, so they knew, but they didn't message me or my other roommate that had been there the whole time with me. So I'm just like, okay. And so at that point, I was like, well, all of my classes are online. Everyone has COVID up here and I want to go home. So I had already paid for my room in full for this semester. So I started talking to my RA and I'm like, if I just like, went home for the semester, would that be a problem? And she was like, you'd have to refile for your housing and stuff. And I was like, but I already paid. And she was like, mm, then I don't know. So then I talked to the area coordinator and the area coordinator um, got back to me after a week when she told me she was going to get back to me the next day in email and basically just copied and pasted what was on the housing website, which if I went based off of what the housing website, it just made it seem like I couldn't leave the premises of the school period at all. Just like you had to be there the entire time. So I was like, well, that's not true, but also given the circumstances, like I can't petition to break my contract because the problem isn't just like, like I, I'm, I'm bickering with my roommates. It's the school is being ignorant at best and actively negligent at worst. And I don't feel comfortable being on campus, but I also need housing. And the housing isn't cheap, but it would be far more expensive to try and find an apartment near campus in, in walkable distance. I also don't have a car. So that just like didn't work. And I was just like, this is a bad time. Um, so after having multiple meltdowns, I just left. And that's why I'm not at school right now because I don't want to be. Um, I am planning on going back at the very latest next semester because I should have all my housing and stuff, right? You know, like it shouldn't be a problem, but I don't know. The whole thing is just like really weird. That's like kind of it. My classes have been okay. I, I didn't, by leaving, I mean, I didn't like drop out of the school like i'm i'm still attending classes they're just all online so there's no point in me being on campus at that time um so yeah i'm still in school 
but yeah, it was just. I'm I'm happy to have finally transferred, so I can like actually get my degree and then move on with my life. Um, but it it just feels like every step of the way to get there has just been so like unnecessarily difficult and maybe it is just the pandemic but it's like so, yeah that was kind of my whole school debacle um but i'm finally there yay i i learned how to crochet which has been fun you can see a lot of my crochet work on my TikTok. Uh, if if you, for whatever reason, like my content, follow me on there because I'm significantly more active on there than on here. I'm hoping to change that, but knowing me, it's questionable. It's questionable if that change is going to happen. Yeah, I think that's about it. I don't really know what else to say. I'm gonna go eat because it's like one and I haven't eaten yet. Um, so yeah. Uh hope hope you guys hope you guys uh enjoyed. Um I I'll I'll hopefully see you guys again soon. Um thanks. Goodbye.